Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we will be taking a look at Pyromancer, which is a mod that aims to improve the nether as well as Minecraft combat with a variety of fire related items. This mod is a ton of cool stuff so make sure to download it for yourself in the description and subscribe if you enjoy. The mod adds content to both the overworld and the nether. The first example of this is Pyro Wood, which is a charred tree with unburning wood that dissolves in water. It grows in deserts and mesas, but can also be found growing upside down from the ceiling in the nether waste biome. Their leaves slow you like cobwebs while also setting you on fire. It has all the building blocks you would expect from a new wood, but the main use for it is crafting the Pyromancer's Table. The Pyromancer's Table is actually how you perform pyromancy. Once you've made the table, you should craft a Blazing Journal. This is an offhand item that provides buffs to weapons you hold in your main hand. You can charge a Blazing Journal with Blaze Powder on the Pyromancer's Table, and you can also enchant it with some brand new enchantments. Quills are accessories for the Blazing Journal that can be placed into the quill slot in the table and provide some effects as well as affecting the journal's charge consumption. Blazing Quills are craftable and do not do anything on their own. Fungus Quills are craftable and summon fungi spores that will slow down enemies. Membrane Quills are craftable and make attacks stronger when they are performed at night. Nomad Quills cause attacks to slightly replenish your hunger. They are a rare drop from wandering traders. The smoldering twig summons pyro roots that poison and slow down your enemies. These will drop from unburned. Next we'll talk about some new materials and items. Brimstone ore generates in the nether and can be mined for brimstone which is used in a number of crafting recipes. Cinnabar ore generates in the nether and can be mined for cinnabar which can be smelted into drops of mercury. Nitro powder is a craftable item that creates a large explosion when you right click it. Drops of Mercury can be used to create decoration blocks, a new trap item called the Hog Trap that will trap and damage anything that steps in it, and a thermometer which will tell you how hot a biome is. Bottle of Vapors is a throwable item that creates toxic clouds of vapors. You get it from brewing drops of mercury into a water bottle. Pig brew can be applied to piglins and hoglins to prevent them from zombifying in the overworld they drop from the pig romancer. The mod also adds in a fair amount of new weapons. First we have the maces, which are heavy weapons with characteristics between swords and axes that can have special enchantments allowing for unique battling styles. Next is the slingshot, which is a ranged item with a short range. The range depends on the player's speed. You charge it with shift right click and shoot it with right click. There are different ammo types with different effects. First is the slime ball, which has high knockback, slows down the enemy, and deals almost no damage. Next is the magma cream, which sets enemies on fire and has a bit less knockback than the slime ball. Then is flint, which has higher damage with no knockback and deals bonus damage to armored enemies. Then we have the pebbles, which shoots a bunch of small stones with high spread. This is effective in close combat. Next is Brimstone, which applies the Brim Flame debuff, which makes fire deal more damage and prevents enemies from extinguishing the fire. And finally we have the Cooling Element, which cools down nearby blocks and slows down enemies in a small area. The next weapon is the Hog Whip, which can be crafted with Hoglin Hide and some Netherite Shards. It will scare away Hoglins and it will bring attacked mobs closer to you. The Fire Link is a sword crafted with Netherite Ingots and Nitro Powder. It will burn arrows in a small radius when you swing it. You can right click a campfire to remember the campfire, and then shift right click to teleport to it. Bomb sacks are explosive throwable weapons crafted from nitro powder and hog and hide. The base bomb sack does not break blocks, but it has two variations. The scatter bomb sack, which has increased damage and will destroy blocks in a small radius, and the napalm bomb sack, which sets blocks and mobs on fire in a decent range. Now we'll move on to the enchantments. There are different categories of enchantments for different weapons. First, we'll look at enchants for the Blazing Journal. Blazing Wounds applies to axes and deals extra damage to entities that are on fire. Yatagarasu applies to swords and creates an explosion of flames when you hit an enemy. Infernal Harvest applies to hoes and can cause attacks to ignite enemies in a large area. Undertaker applies to shovels and gives attacks a chance to stun. Scalding Spikes applies to maces and causes attacks to create fire streams at the enemy, dealing damage and setting them on fire. Volcanic Mark applies to slingshots and marks enemies. Hitting a marked enemy with a critical melee attack will do extra damage and set them on fire. 
Ash in Pages is a curse enchantment. It slows down charging, so one powder gives two charges instead of eight. Next we have mace specific enchantments. The first one is Sturdiness, which deals more damage to armored enemies with damage scaling with the amount of armor and capping out at 5 bonus damage. Two-handed will increase damage if your offhand is empty and has a chance to stun the enemy. Rush increases damage if you are moving faster than the enemy you attack. Breakthrough causes attacks to put shield on cooldown. The Hog Whip also has three unique enchantments. Light Speed will cause attacks to be almost instant but lowers damage. Tamer stuns nearby Hoglins instead of scaring them and Hook causes you to move towards a struck enemy rather than the opposite occurring. The Slingshot also has three unique enchantments. Resilience will cause shot projectiles to have increased range. Goliath Slayer can cause projectiles to deal increased damage to bigger enemies. And Legerdemain causes projectiles to have a chance to shoot twice. This mod also adds in a new event similar to Village Raids called the Pigman Legion, which is available after defeating the Wither. The Wither will now drop a core shard on defeat. You can craft a nether reactor with a beacon at the center, then right click the beacon with a core shard to trigger the event. The invasion will be ended by either killing 60 pigmen or right clicking the core shard again. During this event, pigmen spawned will drop netherite shards. There are six different types of pigmen that will spawn during the event. Pigmen Breakers are fast warriors dual wielding netherite axes. They will rush down and leap at their target. The Pigman Chief is a great warrior wielding a heavy mace. Its rage causes other forces to attack harder. It deals massive damage and supports Pigman Breakers. The Pigman Protector is a heavily armored unit equipped with four shields. It's slow and not very powerful, but is tanky and soaks up damage. When it's nearby, Pigman Breakers and Chiefs won't be as aggressive, but Pigromancers will focus on attacks. Pigromancers are mages casting flame spells at their targets. It can shoot fireballs in addition to other magic spells such as summoning blazes and inflicting the wither effect. The Borov is an ancestor of the Hoglin but even angrier and tougher. Covered in netherite and blackstone armor, it will crush anything that stands in its way. It can also serve as the mount for pigmen vexillaries, and if it's not acting as a mount, it can leap into the air and crush enemies beneath it. Pigmen vexillaries are pigmen holding a banner and they will buff other warriors around him. Now we'll move on to the Unburned, which is the final boss of the Pyromancer mod. It can be summoned by right clicking the desert sand with a fractal cucumber, which is a strange vegetable found in warped forests. It will chase the player and attack via melee, occasionally also dashing at the player rapidly. It can jump into the air, creating a powerful shockwave upon landing. It can summon scorched souls that will chase the player and explode on contact with it. When it drops below half health, it will enter phase two. During this, it will emit fire particles and attack faster. The jump attack will now destroy blocks and set a large area on fire when landing. It will also gain a new attack during which it will summon Pyronados, which will suck the player in and set it on fire. Upon finally defeating it, the Unburned will drop 16 Molten Pyrowood, a Smoldering Twig, and a Broken Evil Blade. The last mob added by this mod is the Frostcopper Golem. These can spawn during thunderstorms and were designed to resist Pigromancer's fire magic. They are neutral to players and they drop their cooling element on death, which can be used as a slingshot projectile. There's also a few new types of armor added by the mod. The Marauder's armor is craftable from Hoglin Hide. It has low durability and is weak to fire, but has a small chance to deflect projectiles. The Netherite Mask is crafted by combining a Netherite Helmet with a Netherite Shard. It has less defense than the Netherite Helmet, but with a full Netherite equipped, it will reduce fire damage and prevent you from catching on fire. The Pyromancer's armor is craftable from the Molten Pyrowood that drops from the Unburn. It has a protection level iron, but has a couple of full set bonuses. It will show how much charge is left in the Blazing Journal. Weapons with Fire Aspect will inflict the Brimflame debuff. All artifacts blaze cost is reduced by 1. And this is not yet implemented, but in the future when you take over 2.5 hearts of damage in a single hit, it will summon a friendly Blazing Soul. Finally, we move on to the Magical Artifacts. To use them, you'll need to put the Blazing Journal in your offhand and the Artifact in your main hand. Artifacts will consume Blaze Charge. The Sizzling Hand rapidly launches explosive fireballs. It is craftable from Molten Pyrowood. 
The Court of Embers is a craftable item that will summon a Pyronado, sucking enemies in. The Call of Flames is a craftable item that will continuously deal high damage to a single enemy. The Lantern of Blazing Souls is a craftable item that summons Blazing Souls around the player that will home in on hostile mobs and explode on contact. Finally, the Schizoid Helm is a rare drop from Hoglands. Using it will summon a Schizoid Helm that will bounce on the ground bite enemies and explode on death. And with that, that wraps up all the content added by the mod so far. The mod is still under active development so features are still being reworked and added. Make sure to download the mod for yourself in the description below, leave a comment suggesting what mod I should review next, and subscribe if you enjoy. Peace out everybody.